Now, much of the global demand for ivory comes from China, and Hong Kong is a major entry port for ivory. Authorities there say they are determined to clamp down on the illegal trade. Li Jiajun has more, and a warning for everyone. The pictures you're about to see may be difficult and graphic to watch. An ivory store in Hong Kong. Bracelets, chopsticks, crafts, and pairs of tusks. The deal is hard for many to resist. Known to collectors as white gold, ivory usually represents wealth and nobleness. But behind the fancy carvings is cruel slaughter. It's estimated that last year some 36,000 African elephants were slaughtered to fuel the illicit ivory trade. That's one elephant killed every 15 minutes. Experts warn that unless the great animals are protected, it may be just five to ten years before the species is wiped out in the wild. Despite a global ban on ivory imposed in 1989, the illegal business is still flourishing. According to the International Fund for Animal Welfare, China is the world's largest ivory market, accounting for an estimated 70 percent of global consumption. And Hong Kong is a key transit point of illegal ivory entering the mainland. Hong Kong plays a role, as do several other uh, markets and transit points en route from Africa to these end destinations. And they include uh, the Philippines, Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia as examples of where ivory gets stopped en route to end use markets. The Hong Kong government has taken harsh measures to fight smuggling. But the nature of ivory trade makes enforcement very complex. From the initial poaching to trafficking and sale in the destination market, the process is highly organized. This makes catching smugglers extremely difficult. So in the top level, sourcing level, we're talking about handy poaching, how to stop the elephants being killed. And then on the middle level, we're talking about anti-trafficking. That means prevented from transport around the world from the task from the angle. And more importantly, it's about the consumer level. How we can actually ask the consumers to stop doing this. Hong Kong has seized over 30 tons of control banned ivory in the past decade, one of the biggest stockpiles in the world. The government says most of the ivory will be incinerated in the next few years. The move is hailed as a significant step in combating the illegal trade in elephant tusks. Hong Kong is sending a strong message that the city will not tolerate ivory trafficking because of the toll it's taking on elephant populations, particularly in Africa. But destroying the tusks does not address the root of the problem. Eliminating the market demand should be the number one priority because if there is no demand, there will be no slaughter. Li Jin, CCTV, Hong Kong.